We are still currently dealing with some very cold temperatures across the UP. It's 30 degrees in Marquette. Tonight we're going to be heading down into the teens and tomorrow we're going to have winds out of the southwest. But take a look at what's off to the southwest of our area. More cold temperatures. It's 29 degrees in Minneapolis, only 12 degrees in Rapid City over a good chunk of the plains. They've been having some snow move through over the weekend and because of freshly fallen snow that usually results in colder temperatures temperatures in those areas, which is what we're seeing off to our southwest. So typically southwest winds bring us warmer temperatures. It is going to take a while for that to happen, but it will happen on Wednesday. That's when we'll have some warmer temperatures moving in tonight. Temperatures heading down into the middle teens. In fact, it's possible that we could be setting a record low temperature for tomorrow morning by the time these lows in the teens take place. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to have highs only reaching the lower to middle thirties. Pretty similar in terms of how how chilly it's going to feel compared to what we have today. Then getting a little bit warmer on Wednesday, we'll be starting off with temperatures in the 20s during the morning. Highs on Wednesday likely reaching the lower 40s. And then going into Thursday, though, we'll have a weak cold front passing by, so there could be a couple of scattered flurries, but no substantial amounts. But we're back into the cool temperatures in the morning. We'll start out near 30 degrees, so that's going to be milder in terms of morning temperatures. But the afternoon on Thursday only getting into the middle 30s. Early Friday we will be heading down likely into the lower to middle 20s and then Friday afternoon high temperatures reaching the upper 30s. So for tomorrow frigid early with a temperature starting off in the teens for interior parts of the UP. Milder temperatures will be moving in on Wednesday along with more cloud cover. A few flurries will be possible on Thursday due to a weak cold front passing by, but little in the way of any amounts are expected. We're still dealing with lake effects snow coming off Lake Superior targeting areas near the Marquette and Alger County border, but you'll notice drier conditions off to the west and area of high pressure over South Dakota will nose in and bring us some brighter skies for tomorrow down across parts of the southern plains. There has been an ice storm unfolding across parts of Oklahoma. That's what the pink colors on radar are indicating, so it's been an absolute wintry mess in that area and looking towards the Yucatan Peninsula south of it anyway. This is Zeta, which is expected to intensify into a hurricane as it moves towards the northwest and into the Gulf of Mexico. There are hurricane warnings for the boxes shaded in light purple. Currently, Zeta is a category one hurricane with winds a little over 80 miles per hour heading up towards the northwest, expected to cross over the Yucatan Peninsula and then likely making landfall somewhere between central Louisiana and western parts of the Florida Panhandle late on Wednesday after landfall weakening into a tropical storm and then heading up towards the northeast. In fact, rain from this storm system could reach areas near the Ohio and Michigan border down across parts of lower Michigan. No tropical warmth and no tropical rainfall is expected anywhere near here as this heads out to the mid Atlantic and the northeast around here for tonight. We're going to have decreasing cloud cover with less cloud cover around and winds becoming lighter. That's going to give way to some very cold temperatures overnight. Mostly sunny skies on Tuesday, although still feeling quite cool, a little warmer on Wednesday, although we will likely end up with more cloud cover. So for tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny, but starting off with morning temperatures temperatures in the teens to around 20 degrees highs near 34 degrees on Wednesday morning temperatures ranging from the 20s to lower 30s highs will be getting up to 42 degrees. We're back into gray skies on Wednesday, but at least the temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer on Thursday. A chance of scattered flurries, but very minimal amounts. If anything, morning temperatures will be near 30 degrees, but due to uh, the cold front passing by, we're not going to get much warmth on Thursday. Highs only reaching 35 degrees on Friday. Brighter skies, morning temperatures in the 20s. Highs getting up to 38 degrees and then a bit warmer for the first half of the weekend. We'll be looking at mostly sunny skies on Saturday with afternoon highs getting up to 46 degrees.